sales at the Boston Auto Show in the late winter of 1904, but the big story here was not a production car, it was a racer. The Buffum Model G Greyhound Racer had a 100 horsepower, horizontally opposed 8-cylinder engine, making it the first 8-cylinder car ever sold in America. It was also the very first race car any manufacturer had made and offered for sale, however many people wanted to buy, to the public. The car was a beast, 2,300 pounds, a 10-foot wheelbase, coil springs on the corners, and a one-speed or perhaps high-gear only driveline. And there was only six inches of ground clearance. This baby was a real hot rod. Now, the car was designed in the vein of the Winton Bullet, and it was intended to compete with that car and other high-level racers of the day. The Central Automobile Company of New York bought the first and only one ever made. Named the Central Greyhound, it was delivered to them in New York, where it promptly suffered major carburation problems, never ran right, and if it ever actually did end up racing, it never won, as there's no record of the car competing at any high-level competition of the era. Well a flop, having the designation as the first eight-cylinder car and the first catalog race car in the U.S. is still pretty awesome. So 1904 has had a couple of highs, mostly, but there was a very big low in 1904, and it goes back to William E. Bates. Bates was the charismatic and well-heeled H.H. Buffum Company treasurer. And in fact, he was a little too well-heeled. William Bates had been apparently embezzling money hand over fist for some time right under the nose of H.H. Buffum, and actually maybe that was the problem. The story made for breathless headline news in the April and May editions of the Boston Globe and other local newspapers. The initial number for the theft was thought to be $5,000, and then as the investigation deepened, Buffum himself said it could be upwards of $10,000. Beyond all that, Bates vanished without a trace. His high society wife was apparently completely unaware of his activity because she got ditched as well. An arrest warrant was issued, but there is no record of an arrest or trial of William E. Bates.